Okay, now you have all written down what the first things are to you. And you also have written down what is one activity in both your personal and your professional life that you know, if you did it superbly well, that it would have marvelous results. Okay, now let's get into the heart of the application of this paradigm, which focuses upon relationships and principles rather than things, schedules, efficiency, and control. I need a volunteer. <laughs> How would you like to consider that? <laughs> okay. You'd come up here, please. Your name is? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Thank you. Good to see you. Elizabeth, you've got... Oh, you hold this. <laughs> very, very busy life, right? I do. You have a work life? I do. Family life as well? Mm -hmm. Children? Not yet. Not yet. What's the nature of your work assignment? Consulting. Consulting. Do you have a, a part of the firm, a consulting firm? Yes, I do. I direct an international okay. firm. An international firm. Mm -hmm. So you really are interfacing with all kinds of people in the firm and outside the firm. That's right. Do you also do direct work with the clients yourself? That's right. And you have a number of associates you work with mm -hmm. all around this country and throughout the world? Mm -hmm. Starting? Yes. Kind of like us. That's right. <laughs> you want a rich personal life and a rich family life and also community and so forth. Do you ever feel like you get bogged down in the thick of thin things? Yes. <laughs> Do you ever feel like your life is kind of out of balance, out of whack? It can be. Do you ever feel like you're in the pounding surf? Mm -hmm. You know, where you just have one big wave after another knock you down, you stagger back and then here comes another wave, then another one knocks you down to where it just kind of beats you up? Mm -hmm. Well, that might be analogous to All these little, small things that tend to fill our life. And that just little by little, they just accumulate. Now, your job, you can't go above this, is to get all those large rocks in the jar. Good luck. <laughs> I'll Can describe each of the rocks as she puts them in. What's that one called? Q2, planning, preparation. Right. <laughs> planning, preparation, prevention, and empowerment. Mm -hmm. Q2, that which is not urgent but important. Right. Am I picking these up in any order? Any way you want. You want to get them all in there because they're all important. Can I move the little one? Well, you have the little rocks as they are now, but you can't go above this. Okay. Can I put this down? Sure. <laughs> okay, the next rock she's putting in there is called relationships and family. trying to make it so she can get them all in there on the assumption that by moving the other ones around it makes more space. <laughs> you didn't look at that third rock you put in there, that's employment, some key employment issue and then you put major projects here and I can't get it above there. I haven't worked it yet. Oh yeah, that's right. Is that fair? Yeah, that's fair. That's called service, community, church. <laughs> Do you ever feel like this? Yes. <laughs> How many feel like this? <laughs> Am I still going? 
Yeah, oh. you can. Try to get them in there. <laughs> You're a hands-on person. She just put down the sharp and the saw. <laughs> How many frequently do that? I just don't have time today to sharpen the saw. You ever been too busy driving to take time to get gas? <laughs> Vacation. Vacation's important to her. By moving the little things around, you might squeeze in one more of those big major things. Does that count? It's almost. <laughs> wow, that is good. You know, if it doesn't fit, force it. Well, no. You can neglect a big opportunity no. if you want. No. <laughs> Here's something that's called urgent and important. It's a quadrant one thing that is blindsiding you that uh, it's your biggest client that if you don't get back to that client now, <laughs> you've given up your vacation. No and you have no special block of time just for yourself. No. You have no young children. I'll tell you what you can do if you want to. You can take a whole different approach. You have a totally fresh bowl. You can work out of a different paradigm altogether. You can do anything you want. So I can use that bucket. That's what you're Anything, saying. yeah. Well, then I'd rather put these in the bottom and then pour the little pebble on top. Okay, she has sharpening the saw, planning, preparation, spouse, spouse, vacation, employment, big opportunity, big opportunity, important and urgent, block of time, community, church. Those young children keep looking at me. <laughs> Glad my husband's not here. No, I dump these in there. Okay. got all the important things in first, right? That's right.
What did you learn? I learn if I have an opportunity to do all the things that are important first and block out when I have the fullest amount available and then all the little things will fill in the important things. Even if this were higher with the green rocks, you may neglect some of those, see? Mm -hmm. But so what? Those are just fillers. They're fillers and they're not important. These things you've decided are the most important things. Did you also notice anything else about each of these things? Common characteristic of each of the big rocks. What have they to do with or who? With myself. Self. Some had to do with others. They all with others. affected others. All had to do with relationships and different roles that you've got. So what if you were to shift to a paradigm of deciding, first of all, what your whole life is about, so that you have a philosophical basis on which to make all of the decisions about what are the big rocks, the middle-sized, small rocks, and so forth. Put the big rocks in very first, the most important things than the other ones accordingly. And to get out of daily planning altogether, because if you're in the daily planning, what's already happened? The little rocks are already filling up my day. Absolutely, and all you're doing now is prioritizing crises. And you have a big rock like this, like a major project, just like you tried to do, there's just no way you can fit that in. So what if you had the philosophy of relationships rather than schedules? and to organize your whole life around relationships, around the roles that you have with yourself and with other people first. Well, that's the whole idea. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Elizabeth.